Well, Ralph gets woke in this movie, as, as we like to say these days. From our last story, the last time you saw Ralph and Penelope, they found each other. They got a friend for the first time in their lives. They were these under, misunderstood, you know, sort of lonely people and when the last movie began. And then they became friends, and now here we are six years later, they're still thick as thieves, they love each other. So what I mean by woke is like, Ralph has to realize like, oh, even though she's my best friend, she's not like my property, you know? Uh, and w what does a good friend do when, when a friend wants to do something else? You know, when, when a friendship grows in different directions, what does a good friend do in that case? And at first, Ralph makes some bad choices <laughs> trying to save his friendship, and then he ends up doing the right thing, and he's a stronger man for it. If I'm eating, I'll eat real stuff, or if I'm drinking, I drink real stuff, or um, we have this kind of metal cage around me, not a cage, but but like these bars that you can kind of rest on and you can pull against them. Like when you're in the car, I would hold on to those bars and go, yeah, you know, like all the different um, falls and he's, he's always tripping and bumping into things. So there's a lot of, you know, like that kind of thing. Uh, and that, that tends to be really physical. So you try to get yourself as physically into it as you can. Ralph goes into the comment room in the internet and starts reading these things about himself and it shows you like how rough that can be. Um, and I think that's a really good thing that the movie deals with that in a real way. That says to kids like, and adults for that matter, like you gotta be careful what you believe. If you believe the good stuff about yourself, then all of a sudden when the bad stuff comes, it can hit you pretty hard because you've invested in this idea that strangers you know, a stranger's opinions are important.